Hey guys, welcome to another Home Lab series video today. In today's video, we'll be playing around with Llama GPT again, but with a GPU this time. So um, I got it set up on my 4080. Um, it is very powerful, it's very expensive, and um, not for the faint of heart to buy if you're building a new computer, but if you're building one and want to spend some money, 4080, 100% would recommend. It works pretty well. Um, if you want to go for the 4090 and even spend more money because you're awesome, um, don't let me stop you. But we're going to be playing around with that. Um, and spoiler alert, it does go faster. So we'll be doing a little bit of a few comparisons between uh, my uh, Llama GPT on my server with 60, uh, 32 cores running on it versus my um, uh, 4080 on my desktop. So it will be a lot of fun, some good comparisons. And um, yeah, so let's get started. <clears throat> okay, so what we have here is this is what was uh, what we left off on my last video. We got Llama GPT set up on a server and essentially this is running my 32 cores, 128 gigs of RAM. You know, it's pretty crazy for a server in regards to like a home lab server, um, but um, you can do whatever you want with it. And then we'll put this on the right side, but what we'll do here is actually open this up and we'll be doing Llama GPT, GPU.Dragon.Local3000 HTTP here, and this is on the right side, our 4080. Um, so what we'll do here is we'll, we'll set these both to be the same thing and we will give it the same prompt and we'll let them both run. And you can kind of see what it comes up with um, on both. So um, we'll start off with a, it's probably a simple prompt. Um, ask me a joke. I guess it's more of a statement asking me a joke. <laughs> so we'll kick off this one. Uh, the left side is the server. The right side is with the 4080. So we'll kick it off on the left side first and then the right side. So you can see how on the right side, it actually ran pretty quickly. And the left side is still still thinking here. <laughs> um, and it's slowly loading and prompting. So you can clearly tell that using this with GPUs is going to be significantly faster. And I would highly recommend um, if you want to play around with AI models and whatnot, um, using a GPU is nice. Um, I should go pull out like my, my 1080 that I have and, and show, show that. Um, but you can see how it's still loading um, on the left side. Um, so fun jokes, why did the tomato turn red? Because it saw the salad dressing. Um, that's actually, that's actually semi funny. Um, let's see, why don't eggs tell jokes? Because they crack <laughs> each other up. Great, those are great. Those, those are actually pretty funny. Um, so you can see it's it's a lot faster. Now let's give it a little bit more, um, you know, a, a bigger prompt. Tell me a story. And we'll do the same thing where we'll run it on the left side first and then the right side. <clears throat> So you can see how it actually like populates pretty quickly. And honestly, it kind of populates almost just, just as fast as like chat GPT, in my opinion. Um, it, it's, it's a stagger a little here, um, but I mean, I'm not running like a multi-billion, you know, data center on the back end. And it's a, it's a 4080 that's, you know, whirling in my, in my uh, room and um, probably warming it up. It's like a good space here now at this point, right? Um, but you can see that there is a significant improvement using a 4080 over a uh, CPU, even if you allocate 32 CPUs to it. <laughs> um, yeah, so, so this will keep on going on. Um, I'm gonna do one more test just to show you guys. Um, and it'll be something that's less, um, that that's more like uh, static in regards to like, just getting like, you know, give me, you know, 100 digits of pi or something, you know, something that is should be easy to return. Um, and less of like a story. So we'll stop generating here and we'll ask, give me pi to the hundredth digit. And we can see how fast this goes. So we'll do the left side again on my server and then right side on my 4080. So you can see it like instantly loads on the right side. Um, or starts loading, not instantly. It doesn't load everything, but it, it does start loading. So it actually is pretty quick. Um, 
Now, I wish I had like two 4080s and then like ran it on both. That would be kind of fun. Maybe I should buy a 4090. <laughs> when I can claim it as a business expense, guys, then then uh, then we we can do it. Um, but oh, that's interesting. I don't I don't think those zeros are are accurate here. Actually, is it still gener? How many digits is that? With okay, that's interesting. Then when I I'm I wonder if that's a bug that's just doing zeros or if it doesn't actually know up to a hundred digits worth of pi. Unless this is just a hundred now, it's just outputting. <laughs> but you can see with a forty eighty, it actually does pretty well. Um, oh, it's still loading on the left side. If I blow up my server too, this would be kind of funny. I uh, I think I got into a, a a bad loop over here because um these zeros are it goes on and on <laughs> like this. So it's interesting getting you know different responses even though there's like the answer is you know a specific answer. Oh, is it is it gonna actually tell me here? Here we go one five nine two six something. I don't even, I, I can tell you, I, I, I don't know the hundredth dish of pi, so. But there is a little bit of an example kind of showing you what you can kind of expect between running it on a CPU versus a GPU. Um, so hopefully that kind of helps you in a little bit of deciding whether or not you should uh, even attempt this on your own home um, system. Because if you're hoping to run, you know, like ChatGPT more stringently on your computer um, you might end up finding that your resources just may not be enough but if you have an amazing gaming computer with like a 4080 you're probably fine it's gonna be a little bit slow but it could be worse so there you go guys if you enjoyed the video please leave a like comment and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video bye